Hi all. In this video, we are going to discuss on what is a firewall and what is the role of a firewall in the organization's network. Also, in this video, we will discuss on how is that a firewall is different from an antivirus software. Also, we will discuss on how firewall is different from an IDS and IPS. So now, what is a firewall? What is a firewall? Firewall looks something like this. So imagine this, this is an outside network or an external network. I'm assuming here that the external network is an internet. So internal network, the organization's internal network is your LAN structure. This is the organization's network. So this is the external network. This is the internal network or the host network. of the organization. So this is a firewall. So what is the role of a firewall? There is a permitted traffic into the organization. So permitted traffic meaning there is a standard set of rules or predefined rules based on which the traffic is being permitted inside the internal network. So only permitted traffic is allowed in. If there is an unauthorized traffic or unwanted traffic that is being restricted by the firewall. So now what is the role of a firewall? A role of a firewall is something that restricts or protects the internal network from unnecessary traffic or unauthorized traffic. So firewall, as the name it suggests, it is a firewall, something that restricts the fire from spreading inside the premises, right? So that is a firewall. So only based on the predefined set of rule, it allows the traffic inside the internal network. So always remember, when we are speaking about firewall, firewall has to work in an idea mechanism. So idea is the role of firewall. So what is the idea? I stands for inspect. Inspect. What it has to inspect? It has to inspect both the incoming and outgoing traffic. It has to identify and inspect byte to byte based on the predetermined rules. So what is a predetermined rule? What is a predetermined rule? There is a set of rules set for the firewall. So how it is set by the organization? If an organization is having a firewall, they will suggest or they will provide the list of rules based on which the traffic can be allowed inside the internal network. This can be based on IP address, either the host IP address or source IP address or it can be the destination IP address. So if there is going to be a message or there is going to be a traffic from this IP address allow or permit inside the internal network. If it is based on or the incoming traffic is based on this IP address do not allow inside the internal network. So that is based on the IP address you set a rule in the firewall. It can be based on ports. If a traffic is incoming from port 80 never allow into the internal network. That is one of the rules the organization can set. It can be based on protocols. It can be based on domain names. It can be based on application programs.
so based on these rules these rules are set up for the firewall if this is from this ip address either allow or deny so there is a standard list as you have the acl access control list you have a predetermined set of rules based on which the firewall will act accordingly so that is the role of a firewall in inspecting the first one of idea is inspection so it has to inspect whether this incoming or outgoing traffic suits or does not suit with the predefined rule so that is a first step then on decide what is decide decide the organization has set a predefined rule so based on which allowing or denying is on decision then act accordingly if it is allow as per the predefined rules then you it can allow it is a permitted traffic it can allow in else it will deny it will not permit inside the internal network so as such the role of firewall is to act accordingly so this is the basically the role of a firewall so in short the role of a firewall is to restrict or protect the internal network from unauthorized access from the external network or internet so it is a barrier in between the internal network and external network so that is the role of a firewall so this is the basic functionality of a firewall you have different firewalls in practice based on their functionality how they function in the organization there are various types of firewall you can see what are the various types of firewall you have you have packet filtering firewall you have stateful inspection firewall you have dual homed firewall then you have demilitarized zone or triple homed firewall or you also call it as demilitarized zone you call it as dmz or this is also called as screened subnet firewall all means the same you have uh, screened host firewall you have next gen firewall so all these are different types of firewall there are many other types of firewall as well the functionality differs where you place the firewall what is the role of a firewall whether it is placed before the router or after the router what is the role of a firewall what it does whether it checks the entire packet or it checks for the header what is a kind of a check it does before allowing into the network so these are the various functionalities based on which you classify the firewall so in the future videos i will discuss on the various types of firewall individually as to what each firewall does in the organization so this is basically about the firewall what is a firewall how it works in the organization now there is a common question as to how this firewall is different from an ids or an ips or an antivirus software so now we will try to differentiate between those so the first one how is a firewall different from an antivirus software so as we just explained on the firewall what is the role of a firewall this deals with the external threat so as such what is the firewall that does it always have a frequent check on the traffic that is coming from outside either internet or any other external network but what is the role of a antivirus software antivirus software checks for any viruses worms so this deals with both internal and external threats so as such based on the functionality what it does the firewall it checks 
and filters based on the predetermined rules the incoming and outgoing traffic what is the role of a firewall this is more more on scanning and detection so what it does it provides scanning so this scanning refers to what it includes detection identification and eradication of any malicious codes viruses or worms so that is the role of an antivirus software so here more on firewall it works both on hardware and software levels it is not restricted just to a software this is this covers the organization's entire network entire network covers hardware software processes as such this antivirus software deals only with software it deals only with software level so that is basically the difference between antivirus and the firewall more on firewall it works on a predetermined set of rules but here on antivirus software it checks on each file and scans whether there is any um, infected harmful files or applications if in those cases it will eradicate those it will find those and try to eradicate those so that is the role of a antivirus software so that is it basically the difference between firewall and antivirus software now how the firewall is different from ids and ips mechanism what is ids and ips intrusion detection system and intrusion prevention system what is the difference between both so firewall basically it is a network security filter so as we just discussed it is more on a security mechanism it is a network security feature or filter for incoming and outgoing traffic based on predetermined rules what is the role of an ids and ips ids and ips is a device it is a device that inspects the traffic detects it and classifies proactively or stops based on a malicious activity or a traffic from an attacker so this device inspects the traffic detects any uh, malicious activity and proactively either detects just detects and gives alert to the security administrator or when it is an ips system it prevents from entering into the organization's network so it detects and classifies them proactively stops the malicious activity from attack so here firewall is more on a rule based mechanism so you have a set rule based on which it has to hack the rules can be based on ip address as i explained or it can be based on the ports so there are predefined rules it does not check on the real time traffic that is there in uh, the external network it is a rule based setup so if this happens don't allow in if if uh, if this 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 port never allow or allow so it is a rule based mechanism here it is more on a live mechanism it looks for real time traffic and it is works on a pattern so pattern can be a signature pattern or it can be a pattern that is being followed in the organization so in that case it follows a pattern if a pattern if there is an irregular pattern or irregular activity then it creates an alert system or it creates a or it stops that malicious activity so predominantly as such firewall works on a rule based mechanism here the traffic flow is not being analyzed traffic flow is not analyzed here 
it works on a specific predefined set of route but here the traffic is being analyzed as i told if there is a difference in a pattern if there is a difference from the normal activity then it creates an alert So how the firewall or IDS works in an organization, if you just see how it is placed. So this is the organization's LAN. You have systems connected to each other. This is the organization's LAN. So then you have a firewall. Then you have the external network. So the firewall works it, uh, it uh, based on the predetermined set of rule. It either allows the traffic or it denies the traffic. This is how the firewall works. The um, IDS or IPS mechanism is in between the firewall and the internal network more closer to the LAN mechanism. Why is that? Based on a predetermined set of rules, the firewall may sometime allow the traffic in but it can be a mismatch of a pattern it is not the regular pattern might be a malicious activity so the first line of defense is always firewall after this though it is allowed by a firewall the role of an idea as an ips is to check whether there is any malicious activity whether there is any deviation from the pattern that is being followed in the organization idea is what it does it just detects though it allows inside the internal network it allows but it creates an alert to the security administrator but what the ips does if there is an intrusion which is not of a regular activity then it prevents it from entering into the internal network so that is what is ids and ips and that is a functionality of a firewall so this setup is always better so whether i should have a firewall and ips together yes as an organization the functionality is different so it is better to have firewall and an ips and ids for a better protected environment or a secured environment so that's all about firewall the role of a firewall how it is different from the others antivirus softwares or ideas and ips yeah thank you see you in the next video